they're getting so mad. They've been waiting there forever and they're never gonna get that green light. I was called out to this intersection today. Uh, this came after numerous complaints of people running a red light because they were waiting so long just to get their green. Now, coincidentally, this came right after a paving project. So I already had my suspicions what the problem was, but I'm here now and we're gonna investigate and see what's going on. The problem with paving projects is that many times the detection loops or the inductive loops that are in the ground are usually compromised. The hot asphalt when laid back over the existing loops usually melts the wires, sometimes severs them completely, and most of the time we have to have loops recut in their existing place. In this case, everything was spared except for what we found was a two loops over here on this left turn lane. And what happened was the front was compromised, but the rear was still working. So here's the problem. One car pulled all the way up to the front loop, which is disconnected. The rear loop is connected and is the only one working for this direction here, which is the southbound movement. So th that car pulled all the way up and there was never a second car. They would sit there for eternity and never get that detection call to give them a green light. And I'll give you a few scenarios of what happened. Here comes a car here. Now he's sitting far enough back that he got that call for that movement. Stop bar, he's about a little over car lengths away, or a little less of a car length away, which is why he's getting that call. If he pulled up a little more, that call would drop. Scenario two, what I've been waiting for. One person pulls all the way up to the stop bar. It won't get detected until they pull up all the way. Here's scenario three. One person pulled all the way up to the stop bar. The second person is too far back to get the rear loop. So the front bar is not working. Front, the front loop is not working. The rear loop is working, but the second vehicle is not far enough up. So we have no detection. We need to go in there. And first let's go ahead and just, uh, let's see, let's just give them recalls here for a second. And all that does is just guarantee them at least the minimum green time for that direction, no matter if there's vehicles there or not. What I wanna do is go into the locking feature. It's actually where this excels at. We'll go to the phase data and locking, and we're gonna pick the phase that we wanna lock that detection in. In this case, it's phase four. And back up here, you see the line being NL memory. NL memory is non-locking memory, so an entry of one under a phase means the detection is non-locking. The direction we're concerned with is phase four. We want that to be a locking detector. So by placing a zero in there, by inverse makes that locking. So from now on, as cars pull past that loop, that rear loop, and they pull past that and go on to the bad loop on the front stop bar there, they'll be locked in to that phase four, guaranteeing them a green light. So let me go back in here and remove this recall off of phase four. So it's operating off of strictly detection again. Let's go back in here. All right, they're being serviced right now. So what's gonna happen here is when a person pulls past the second detection loop, which is the rear loop, 
that call will be locked in and guarantee them a green light, even if they pull all the way up to the stop bar onto the bad loop. So that's where our locking feature excels and has its purpose in the traffic world. So that person's probably up there. That call is locked in. And here it is right here. Phase four. He's pulled past, but he has that call locked in, giving him a green light. Ah, well, that wasn't too bad. You know, having paved roads, that's nice. Having paved roads and working detection, that's a sweet spot. So we'll have the contractors back out. They'll fix that loop at some point, and then we'll have all the detection back and going again. And, uh, you know, we'll no longer have those red light runners. Well, we won't have them here at this intersection. Well, we won't have them for that direction. We'll, we'll probably still have them. All right, see you.